you know, the, um, the, when they went to their white action, what we call our white action or the 40 red action, you know, we just didn't do a great job handling it. And really that stretch, that five, six minute stretch was the difference in the game. Um, I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, we were able to get the, the, the game back manageable. Um, we had a good second half for the most part. Um, but that little, that little run was the difference in the game and credit them, you know, um, I think when they started pressing and changing defenses, um, made us make some more decisions, um, that really changed the landscape of the game. But uh, too many turnovers in the first half. Good thing second half, we only had three. Um, and then on the offensive end, you know, when you look back, a lot of opportunities we had, we just didn't convert on. And so, um, but credit Texas. And um, we got to keep on keeping on and persevere and, and, and get ready for Tech. Yeah, uh, probably out tomorrow for practice, but we wouldn't do much anyway tomorrow. Tomorrow will be more of a film and walk through the corrections from Texas and walk through Texas Tech. And we won't be in the gym but an hour between film and, and walkthroughs before we get out of town. And so, you know, he won't go tomorrow. Um, and I think he's, you know, probably questionable, doubtful again for Thursday. Is that a high ankle or just a regular ankle sprain? I think it's just, it's not a, you know talking to Vic a little bit, and I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't know the exact details. But it's partly an ankle sprain, but it's sprained around that area. You know what I mean, around behind the ankle and foot, and um, he's just having trouble walking on it right now. And so they're treating it as much as they can. He just you know he wasn't able to go tonight. You mentioned that the turnovers kind of dissipated in the second half. Yeah. In that first half, you guys had some that obviously were. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the one thing. Now, we are small with that, that group out there. Um, and it's first time that group's probably felt that. You know, we've always done a really good job against Texas with the, with the, with the 40 red when they're on the ball. Um, you know, unfortunately for tonight, the first two times against it, we turned it over. And then in their three quarter court pressure, we just didn't get to our spots. And, and like I said, it's, it's more of a passive press. They're just trying to take time off the clock. But, you know, we were just too passive, too slow, and then our decision making wasn't very good in there. And uh, the second half, I thought we did a better job. I think once we understood what we were looking for um, and played with a little bit better pace. Um, but that, at the end of the day, that was that was the difference in the game. I mean, you take those five six minutes out, it's an even game, or or we're winning. I mean, the biggest thing is because I think we're, we're you know, you take those five minutes, we're, we're doing some good things down the stretch here. Obviously, the league's very good. We've got good teams in our league. we got a tough, we're on the road for these next two games. Obviously, Lubbock's a tough place to win, but it's a place that we've gone down there and played well and had success. You know, I think they've only been beaten down there, you know, 12 or 13 times the last five years. We've beat them twice. And so, you know, we got to go down there and be really confident. Um, you know, we're doing some better things right now, um, you know, but, like I told the guys, man, you know, you know, our life is tough. This is tough going through this, but man, there's a lot of blessings in our lives too, and we got to make sure we understand that, and and we hold on to that, and make sure we appreciate those blessings, um, because you got to you got to be like I always say, you got to be humble through success. You got to be humble, you know, when you struggle. You got to continue to learn, but you know, we got to go down to Lubbock like we did two years ago, where it was, hey, man, we're going down there. We're gonna be as dialed in as we've ever been. And we're gonna play really well. And, Give ourselves a great chance to win. Thank you. Our next question will be from Randy Peterson of the Des Moines Register. Go ahead, Randy. Steve, when you took Solo out with with 28 seconds to go to give him his to give him his, his due, you walked over to him and and said something. It looked like you had a kind of a, a cool moment. What did you What did you say to him? Well, I just went over and, and just kind of really dapped him up just to make sure he knows I appreciate him. You know, I've been with him for five years. I love him. I care about him. Uh, I want him to do extremely well. Um, you know, like I texted before the game on senior night, we, we've had a lot of great moments, you know, whether it's championships or tournament wins or great road wins. We've had a lot of great moments together. And so, 
you know, I, I really appreciate the fans. Uh, obviously, it's an unusual circumstance of fans this year, but the ones that were here, you know, especially with the season we're having, um, to be to be very very generous in their in their energy and support of him when he came out because uh, he fouled out at the end there, uh, which worked out perfect. But I just went over there and gave him a little you know, a little pound just to make sure he knows I love him and care about him, and I uh, appreciate him. Yeah, well, he, um, he got off to a slow start, and to his credit, you know, he, he got back going. Um, you know, we need him dialed in because you're playing Texas and you're playing Greg Brown at the three and Kai Jones at the four. I mean, they're long and athletic and active. And, you know, we need guys like Javen to, to be athletic and, and have great activity. But I thought, you know, once he got, you know, through that first five, ten minute stretch, I thought he really bounced back. And, you know, he's finished at 13 points, five assists. But, um, you know, too many turnovers when you look at the stat sheet. And then I think, you know, eight for 28 from three, I bet we missed a lot of really good opportunities there. We missed some, obviously, some opportunities, some layups and things that against a team like Texas, you got to convert. Our next question will be from Matt Bell, CBR, and Steve, when you mentioned earlier about how like, you guys, you see you guys are doing a lot better things down the stretch here in these last couple of games. Um, you're not getting the wins. That was something that George told us a little bit ago was that, you know, at a place like Iowa State, being close and having these good stretches, it's fine, but it's not good enough. Um, what, what's kind of your, uh, I guess, either response or feeling on that just in terms of maybe close isn't close enough? You know, no question. I mean, it's unacceptable. I mean, we all know that. I know that. Uh, I've been here six years. Um, I know the history of this program is as good as anybody. Uh, this program has, you know, been a part of great NCAA tournaments runs. This great, this program has, you know, got great guys playing the NBA right now. Uh, former guys, uh, got guys successful all over the world right now. Whether it's professionally, business, coaching, uh, done a lot of really, really good things. And so, yeah, it's unacceptable. I mean, yeah, you, you can talk about being close and getting better, but the but the bottom line is this program is expected to be in the NCAA tournament. It's expected to go to Kansas City next weekend. And, you know, we're the defending champs because it got canceled last year. It's expected to go down there and, and make a great run. Um, it's expected to be in a tournament. It's expected to be, um, you know, a tradition-rich program with, with great people and great personnel. And um, no question, I mean, the losing is unacceptable. I understand that more than anybody. Well, I just, you know, again, we just reiterated what we're trying to do against the pressure. Um, you know, I just, we were, we just, we just, I don't know what happened. You know, I have to look at the tape. It's just, we, we hadn't seen that. You know, usually, you know, we've had some, we've had turnover issues all year long, and usually it's in the front court. Um, we haven't had backcourt turnovers like that when you play West Virginia or Baylor pressures here, or, you know, whoever it may be, Texas Tech. You know, usually we do a good job in the backcourt. Um, unfortunately, tonight, um, we weren't, we weren't very good in that area. I know uh, Tyler played a little bit at point last game, but what did, I guess, your, your missing receiver, what, what kind of people playing in new positions, how do you think that kind of factored into that first half? I mean, there's a lot of factors that probably went into it, but, I mean, he's out. So we, Tyler's got to move to the point, and then Jaden Walker's got to play it some, and then if we have to put Jaden there, we'll put him there some. Um, I thought Jaden did some good things when he came in at the point. You know, a little bit. The biggest thing is, you know, point guard play, it's, you know, five assists, eight turnovers. You know, we need to be the other way. We need to be 10 to five, you know, in that two to one. But uh, they got us, we got to just step up. And the next man's got to do, do well and got to keep working with those guys. Obviously, it's new for him. Um, continue to work on decision making and breaking pressure, being able to get an offense. And, you know, again, ball movement, spacing, all the things that, you know, we've reiterated here for years and years. Thanks.